This is Rhonda Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today with Steve Mershak, Global Business Director of Cell DuPont Cellulosic Ethanol. And Steve, uh, we're at a media day here with Pioneer, and you've been talking about this new program that DuPont is looking into. Uh, tell me a little bit about it. We're, we're not just looking into it, Rhonda. It is a reality today. DuPont has developed technology to produce cellulosic ethanol. We've demonstrated that technology in our Venora, Tennessee pre-commercial facility, and we're in final engineering to build a plant in Nevada, Iowa. We'll be collecting corn stover in a 30-mile radius around our Nevada site, and we've been studying the agronomic impact of that stover collection. Res what, what's that going to mean to the farmer? Residue management is a very important issue for farmers today. And by doing a partial stover harvest, we believe that we can help the farmer in a variety of ways. Uh, we expect yields to improve and uh, soil fertility issues to be managed appropriately and provide uh, some additional income to the farm community. And when do you anticipate that the plant will be functional? We will begin construction in the second half of 2012 and uh, plan to complete construction in 12 to 18 months. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit, if I'm in a, a farmer within that 30 mile radius, a little bit how this might work, how I might get in, involved in that program? We worked with 50 farmers in 2011 and we'll be working with 150 farmers in 2012. Uh, we contract with the grower for access to his fields. We then manage the stover collection process and compensate the farmer accordingly. Okay. You know, I know this is just a little top-line video, but is there anything in particular that you'd want, you know, anyone who's looking at this to, to take away from it? Cellulosic ethanol is a very important component of the United States transportation fuel mandate for ethanol generation. It's great for America, and it's in particularly great for rural economic development. It's a reality today. We're going to be building the first of many plants to be built based on this technology, and we're very excited about the opportunity to contribute to the economy in Iowa. All right, Steve, thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it.